Hello, my loyal subjects. My name's King Wolfall, and welcome back to Bioshock, episode 13.5 is probably how I labeled this. Um, essentially, uh, I've kind of, I've taken a day since the last recording session to kind of gather my thoughts about the story and how things are going, and I have a few questions, uh, and I've realized that a lot of the, a lot of the story bits are locked away behind the diaries, which if you've watched the playthrough... <laughs> well, I guess an enemy triggered that. Um, so if you've watched the playthrough, uh, you'd understand that I've kind of struggled a little bit to um, read some of the or listen to some of these audio diaries or get them to play properly. And sometimes they play over cutscenes, or cutscenes play over them, or they play over each other, or they repeat, or I can't play one because uh oh. Ah, eh, whatever. Or, um, just, as I'm, as I was saying, um, just different things made it hard for those audio diaries for me to listen to. Uh, and it turns out there's a significant amount of those story is hidden behind those audio diaries. Also, you'll notice my wrench has ice powers now. Um, I had to replay through all the way from Tannenbaum Sanctum to where I'm at now because I forgot to save, and it didn't auto-save me at all. So I kind of played back up to where I was at, and now I got this. So my plasmids are a bit different than they were before. Um, so yeah, what this episode, this 13.5 episode is, is we're going to listen to as many of these as we can. There's a lot of them. Um, to try and piece together whatever story we're missing. Now the story as it stands in my brain, as I understand it, is we were a baby, we were a child, it, we were born in Rapture, and then Fontaine was like, hey yo, let me take that baby and let me uh, make it an assassin. So either they brainwashed me or they injected me with a plasma. They did something to make me um, have the trigger phrase, would you kindly, and kind of obey whatever they need. They injected me with false memories and sent me to the surface for however long. And then Fontaine sent me a note and was like, hey, crash this plane, uh, help me take over Rapture. And so on and so forth. The story as as we get it unfolds. So we caused the plane to crash, which we saw in the flashback from Andrew Ryan. Um, we caused the plane crash. And then we're here and Fontaine uses us, or Atlas, quote unquote, uses us to get to Ryan, kill Ryan, and switch thing over to Fontaine's control. Uh, that's kind of where we're at. Um... There's probably bits and pieces missing in there. Um, very, of varying importance. Like, I'm not 100%. On, I know Fontaine's kind of like an Andrew Ryan, like, rival, like, person. But, uh, like, I don't know how important Fontaine was leading up to this. I know his name has come up in the audio cues. But, as I mentioned a couple times now, I've had, I've struggled to pay attention to the audio uh, files partially due to the own system of like holding the button to get them to play and blah 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 all that stuff so one i don't know exactly why fontaine wanted to take over rapture why he needed me to take over rapture my leading theory for me having to help him take over rapture is that i am andrew ryan related like i am one of his relatives potentially his son um which is which the one one of the few audio books I did listen to or audio tapes I did listen to was the was the uh, lady female dancer from the gentleman's club that mentioned being pregnant or mentioned something about having a baby with Ryan unless I completely misread that and it would make sense if I was like Ryan's son or Ryan related that Fontaine would need me to use my genetic code to kind of like get into Ryan's stuff. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm pretty sure I'm Andrew Ryan's, like, kid. And maybe Andrew Ryan didn't know about me. And Fontaine was able to get a hold of me and inject me with all those powers. Because throughout the game, Andrew Ryan seemed to not know who I was. And it'd be weird if I was this kid and he didn't know I was this kid. Or if he knew I was this kid. Or even just, maybe he just didn't recognize me because I'm an adult now or I'm older now. I don't know. I don't know. But maybe that's what we're trying to we're trying to piece together some of that story bit through. This should be all the audio books that uh, I've picked up. So we're just going to listen to some of them.
Oh, this is Steinman. Okay, we don't need to listen to that one. So that... Oh, it's still playing. So that was... This is... This was Steinman. This was the surgeon. This is the audiobook we found in... Or the audio diary that we found in his room. Where I guess he went crazy and started... Cutting up uh, someone who needed surgery. So I think the... Bottom is the first one we found. Another New Year's, another night alone. I'm out and you're stuck in asbestos. Working. Huh. Imagine the surprise. But I guess I'll have another drink. <laughs> Here's a toast to Diane McClintock. Silliest girl in Rapture. Silly enough to fall in love with Andrew Ryan. This is Diane McClintock. She was in love with Andrew Ryan. Uh, the people in the audiobook or, or the audio diary. I keep saying audiobook. Audio diary screaming Long Live Atlas, Death to Ryan. So that was some of quote unquote Atlas's people. I'm assuming, assuming like causing havoc. Maybe what kicked off um, Rapture being how kind of how it is now. Okay, so Su Shang seems like one of those, one of the other scientists that were helping work on plasmids, little sisters, me potentially. I think there's more about Su Shang in the later ones. I think we're mostly looking for the ones about Su Shang, Tannenbaum, Fontaine, and Ryan. Shots fired by Tannenbaum. Tannenbaum. Sometimes I pity the little freak. Such a tiny imagination. Content to sit there with the tanks of Adam tweaking and optimizing. I need to create. Adam is a canvas of a genetic modification. But plasmids are the paint. So Sushong and Steinman had different ideas on how to use... How to use our the plasmids and the different powers and use Adam. The Neptune's bounty was the next place. We have less of these to go through. This one's about Tannenbaum. So the slugs we've been taking out of the Little Sisters, seems like she figured out that's what was helping give power for, like, Adam and stuff like that. This Fontaine fellow is somebody to watch. Once he was just a menace, to be convicted and hung. But he always manages to be where the evidence isn't. He's the most dangerous type of hoodlum. The kind with vision. So this is the first mention of Fontaine, and it was just, Fontaine's a nuisance, he's it's, uh, screwing up my stuff. Okay? This little sea slug has come from it, glued together all the crazy ideas I've had since the war. If he doesn't just heal the damaged cells and resurrect them, I can then send out the humans. Black can be reborn white, tall, short. So 
So Tandem Bomb was the one who realized that these slugs and Adam can be used to alter alter someone any way they wanted. So it seems like Fontaine here. See, this is the I'm now I'm starting to piece more of the story together. So Fontaine had some source of Adam that the other people in Rapture didn't. So it seems like Fontaine is the one who introduced large amounts of Adam into the Rapture society and created all these splicers that are now attacking people and ruining life for everybody else. I'll go spend an hour pretending to attention <laughs> to the poor fellow. Be home as soon as I can. So, Diane, I believe, was the, uh... Yeah, Diane McClintock was the... So, it looks like it was reciprocated. This relationship was a reciprocal one. So, Diane was Randrew Ryan's girlfriend of some sort. And he was getting kept from work by the whole Fontaine business. I'm closing in on the whole ring. I pat myself on the back, but let's face it. These aren't exactly bloodthirsty desperados we're talking about. Rapture's full of poets, artists, and tennis players, not hired gorillas. But this leader of theirs, this Fontaine, he seems to know his way around the grid. This, he keeps his nose clean, but not so clean. So it looks like they wanted to arrest Fontaine for the things he was doing in the background, but didn't want the people to, like, I guess the people, they realized people were on Fontaine's side, not theirs. And they had to make sure they knew, like, hey, we're not coming after him because of what he's, like, doing on the up and up. What's he doing in the background, making the up and up stuff possible that we have a problem with. So at some point, Rapture was split into really two factions. So yeah, Font so it looks like I don't know exactly where Fontaine come from came from at this point, but it looks like the Irish pork pie offered me a deal. I flip him Fontaine and I walk out of here. That's simple. How do I know that fat fuck isn't Fontaine's guy? How do I know they're not all Fontaine's guy? Fontaine's got Adam, and everybody wants it. Ryan's got a whole lot of talk and a nice suit. Even 
down here. Any idiot can see which way the wind is blowing. So yeah, it seems like a Fontaine came. I don't know where exactly where Fontaine came from. It seems like his whole thing was kind of undermining everything Andrew Ryan wanted to do. On my walk today, I had my first encounter with Herodon. He, a lumbering Toluca and a foul-smelling diving suit. Oh, this is just the one of Andrew Ryan encountering the Big Daddy and Little Sister. Filthy pink smock. Oh, there's a lot of these. There's a lot of this one. This is just us talking about seeing ghosts. Today, Arcadia was closed off to all but paying customers. The man hires me to build a forest at the bottom of the ocean and then turns a walk in the woods into a luxury. Ryan asked, should a farmer not be able to sell his food? Is a potter not entitled to a profit from his pot? Okay. There has been tremendous pressure to regulate this plasmid business. There have been side effects, blindness, insanity, death. But what use is our ideology if it is not tested? The market does not respond like an infant, shrieking at the first sign of displeasure. The market is patient, and we must be too. It seems like they wanted, some, some pe or people wanted, or maybe Fontaine wanted, for plasmids to be re more regulated and Andrew Ryan's against that because remember Andrew Ryan is a let things kind of happen as they happen freedom type of guy. The minute we came here, Marsha started screaming. Marsha this is the kid that was afraid of trees. They dress up in leaves and call themselves the Saturnine. Talking about the weird people that can teleport I believe. There's more Diane stuff. Yeah, so this just further supports that Fontaine popping up kind of split things into Fontaine's group and Ryan's group. People on Fontaine's side and people who just want to kind of live their lives, basically. Uh, yeah, I'll try and cut out anything not important, but I really want to try and make sure I have this story kind of complete in my brain before we play the last of the game. So it seems like he's against Fontaine, but also still kind of let Fontaine do his thing. This probably goes along with the plasmid stuff of being like, let's not regulate plasmids, let's just let things do what they do. Yes, yes, yes. I know about the lockdown. This is one of the ones that repeated like three times while I was playing. Uh... This is just Langford stuff. Let's try and focus on the. Okay.
is embedded in the lining of the host's stomach, and after the host feeds, we induce regurgitation. And then we have 20, 30 times yield of usable atom. The problem now is the shortage of hosts. Fontaine says patience is unbound. Soon, the first home for little sisters will open, and that problem will be solved. So it looks like Fontaine got Tannenbaum on his side by being like, hey, we can use these slugs to help the little sisters to maybe get Adam, produce Adam. Yeah, so I, Fontaine convinced her to create the little sisters to get more Adam, is what it seems like. And which would explain why Atlas wanted us to harvest them rather than cure them. Back when he was first like, oh, trust me, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta harvest them. So let's try and focus on the, like, Tannenbaum and Andrew Ryan and Diane, like, those ones. And we'll ignore, like, we know Langford was the boss of that area, so I'll probably, we'll ignore, um some of the other character ones that we know aren't super important crucial to the overarching story all right so the next one would be this is the one we just listened to right yes so this one will be the next one So she's kind of fallen. Okay, so she's kind. Of, she kind of fell in love with the little sisters and has kind of taken them in as their her children. She kind of feels for them as if they are her children. She don't like that, but she's accepted that that's kind of her role in this situation. One of the children came on Saturday. This is another one that repeated like three times while I was trying to do stuff. So she both has the maternal instincts kicked in by them, but also, I think she's more starting to hate what she's doing to them more than anything. In ten years, in these dumps, I've come to accept the very rules turned out of life. But even at the bottom of this fish tank, a man must have standards. The pathetic trudity done at Morley Winery. All right, you're annoying. our hand on the great chain of endeavor my hand is on it Fontaine's is on it we all pull it and are pulled by it yes these children are an abomination but it is not my hand alone on the chain that created them no their little fingers were right there next to mine okay You're definitely not going to make me feel bad about eating all those slugs.
what gives it its amazing properties. It is also what causes the cosmetic and mental damage. You need more and more atoms just to keep back the tide. From a medical standpoint, this is catastrophic. From a business standpoint, well, Fontaine sees the possibilities. Okay, so they started seeing the drawbacks to Adam, and Fontaine was like, I don't care, money. Makes sense. Something more powerful than each of us. A combination of our efforts. A great chain of industry that unites us. But it is only when we struggle in our own... I love you too. ...that the chain pulls society in the right direction. The chain is too powerful and too mysterious for any government to die. Any man who tells you different either has his hand in your pocket or a pistol to your neck. Hmm. So it seems like this McDonough guy was trying to be the level head of the situation to as much of an extent as he could be and kind of, like, keep the people on their side but also help take down Fontaine. Yeah. Um, yeah, there, was, there wasn't a lot that I got from this area. This, this is the one, this is the one that makes me think I am Andrew Ryan's kid. What this sounds like, so this was, um, Jasmine Jolene was the, uh, when we saw the ghost of the, uh, lady at the gentleman's club that went back to where that bedroom was, and she, the ghost was, like, coercing Ryan in. So what it seems like is that Dr. Tannenbaum implanted her with a, a special egg, uh, that Andrew Ryan unknowingly fertilized i'm saying this as family friendly as possible um and then she actually ended up pregnant from it which presumably would be me so that dead uh, the dead the dead lady at the gentleman's club was potentially my mother um that's why i'm thinking i'm andrew ryan's son Yeah, see, like, obviously it's obvious Fontaine wanted to take over Rapture, but so far I haven't found a good reason why in all of this. Ryan nationalized Fontaine Futuristics. He owns it now, lock, stock, and barrel. For the good of the sea, he says. He'll break it up in due time, he says. I've resigned from the council and lodged me letter of protest, but that's just pissing in the wind. It'll be war, I say. Somebody stops Ryan. So Ryan bought out Fontaine to try and stop Fontaine. Alright, that's just telling me how to get into his office. What is the difference between a man and a parasite? A man builds, a parasite asks, where is my share? A man...
So her child got little sistered. Who the Anya and the Sader, whoever she is, sounds like her child became a little sister, and she was gonna try and take out Ryan. This is the same person that, uh, in one of the other audio tapes, was trying to figure out how to get into his office, and had to like uh, convince someone to tell her how to overload the the system and all that stuff. So yeah, again, McDonough seemed like he wanted to be the somewhat of a peacekeeper. Not really a peacekeeper, but be the middleman of trying to get them to find a common ground that didn't destroy Rapture. But it, it seems like Ryan had no interest in that. It was it was either Ryan keeps power or nobody has any. So Fontaine brought Tannenbaum to Rapture. Okay, so he's the reason she's here, which is probably why she went along with his stuff for so long. So Su Chong is the only person who knows about the antidote for the for the plasmid that uh the would you kindly plasmid and the kill switch that's in my brain. So that's what we're trying to do right now is go get the cure for that. So lot 192 seems to be whatever's affecting me. That's a really weird way to phrase that. I have a strong... I'm going to have to remember that number. Because I have a strong feeling that that's going to be the key for the... There's a door in the middle of the, the area right ahead of us. I'm assuming that's going to be the key to that. Um, These are all... Okay. Ooh. This is just stuff that they've been saying since I got to this area. Okay.
Okay, get lot 192 remedy is what we're going for. Okay, so we found out. So we're gonna save real quick. I don't know why I'm gonna save right now, but we are. So we found out a few things. I think I'm pretty much on the nose when it comes to me talking about being Andrew Ryan's family, most likely his son, potentially illegitimate son with um either son with Diane, who was a former lover or girlfriend, or potentially illegitimate son with the uh gentleman's club worker. We will we will phrase it that way. Um, because she was apparently pregnant or made to be pregnant by Tannenbaum. And it looks like Tannenbaum, Sushong, and Fontaine work together to uh, brainwash me as Ryan's child so that Fontaine could later take over Rapture using me, sent me to the surface and sent me away before Ryan could figure out who I was and where I came from so that when I came back eventually due to Ryan being like, would you kindly crash this plane into the ocean and help me take over the world? Uh, eventually, Ryan was like, because cause the whole game, Andrew Ryan was like, who are you? What are you doing here? How are you doing this? What the heck? Etc, etc. So I don't think he knew we were his son or knew we were his child. I think it's more of a case of he didn't know he had a child and Fontaine used that to his advantage. So it looks like Fontaine, for whatever reason, decided I'm going to take over Rapture and I'm going to ruin Andrew Ryan's life and he's using me to do that. And so now we have to take out Fontaine because Fontaine has shown his true colors and Tannenbaum is like, you know what? I went along with your crap for too long. That seems like what we're, we're at. I'm probably completely wrong on all of that and it's going to be revealed at the end. They're going to give me a play-by-play -play of everything I missed. But for now... Thank you so much for watching this kind of side episode. I know nothing happened but me uh, kind of reviewing the story as it's been told. Um, so let me know in the comments if I'm kind of dead on or if I've missed a few things that I'll get to learn in the next episode, which will hopefully be the finale in either the next episode or episode after that. I feel like I'm really close to the end. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be good people, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!